Okay, that's pretty cool. While you're done waiting for the loading to come up, you get a little mini game where you can pick up some bells. So I guess I'll play this. <laughs> Why not, right? Don't know how long this is going to be, but at least I can pick up some extra cash along the way. So, enjoy the musical interlude and me picking up any other bells that come along. This is actually very soothing music. Very soothing music. Okay, as much as I like these awkward silences and stuff like that, might as well just converse with you guys while we wait for everything to load so things aren't as boring. So, 
I guess I'll talk about current events. Ah, uh, what was current as of now? Oh yeah, Splatoon 2! So, uh, new hairstyles, weapons, and maps. You know, when I, when I saw the video the first time of the Splatoon 2 update, I said to myself, you know what? That hairstyle for the girl looks pretty cool, but, um... Some of the stuff that they have for the guys doesn't look all that great. I mean, I saw the bowl cut, but really, come on, what's with the bowl cut? It's like classic Toonie stuff. You'd think that 10,000 years into the future, where the world is inhabited by squid, that they'd have more than just the bowl cuts. It's going to be interesting to see how they do the new hair, too. Yeah, I didn't even see that coin. Ah... Uh, Walleye Warehouse and Arowana Mall returning. That is great, because Walleye Warehouse was actually one of the funner maps from the first Splatoon. So it's good to see it back. You know, it, it is good to see Walleye Warehouse back. Arowana Mall, uh, that's 50-50. You know, when you look at how they brought back Black Belly Skate Park, yeah, I'll, I'll use Black Billy Skate Park and Kelp Dome, for example. You know, they added more stuff. In Kelp Dome's case, they took away some of the grading. And, you know, they turned Black Billy Skate Park into a maze. Which, some people are okay with it. I'm, I'm at an impasse about that. So, seeing how they're going to do Walleye Warehouse is pretty interesting. Then they showed off some of the new weapons. I didn't see all of them, but there's a new umbrella coming out. There's also a new splatter shot that looks like a soda bottle. That one, I'm looking forward to the soda one. I think I think they're gonna call it the 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 soda the soda splatter shot. Don't don't quote me on that. That's just my guess. And if I was right, you heard the name first here on Three Hell Gear. But in other, in other cases, they have Mako Mart, which is really cool. Is it Mako Mart or Mako Mart? Let me see. It's all based off of sea stuff. What would be named? What's, Ma what's Mako? Uh, I'm going to say it's Mako Mart because it's more like a Quickie Mart deal. Jesus. You would think the game... the the day they finally released this game they don't have so many technical bugs but uh, hopefully as the game grows on and they put in more updates it won't be as buggy or glitchy or stuff like that um, then again how many people's dream has it been to just run around the store with your ink with your ink tank and then just splatter everything. Clean up on aisle nine jokes are real. Okay. I'm actually looking forward to that museum. Because you know that, that museum is actually going to be good. Because that's a history museum. Unlike the other one from the first platoon. That was actually a really good museum as well. What was that called? I forgot. I actually forgot what the what the museum for the first platoon is called. It'll come to me later. Watch. But the dinosaur bones are going to be pretty interesting. And they're finally introducing a new game mode. Apparently it's got football. Football and these weird shit. I'm going to say they're like um, Kabuto shells. Because they, they look like sunflower seeds. I didn't know squids like sunflower seeds. It must be some kind of shellfish that they eat. It doesn't matter. 
and the fact that this has taken a long time to load I've actually racked up 740 bells the currency of Animal Crossing bells <sighs> it just adds to the two racks that I got from Isabel <laughs> I'm surprised her face isn't on this money. <laughs> ah. There was also word of Thanksgiving. A Thanksgiving event? Because they're going to be doing holiday events for this game too. Hey, it'd be nice to get another two racks. We'll see though. We'll see. Also, have you guys been voting for the last Kirby Power for Kirby Battle Royal, which is coming out the beginning of 2018? Because what they're doing is they're letting people vote for the copy abilities. And they're letting people vote for two specific abilities. The first one, when it got to the vote, was Mirror. And Mirror has, is one of my favorite copy abilities, you know. That, that reminds me of the Kirby survey that I have to take. I really should do that. But I wonder what... Ooh, thank you. I'm glad I didn't miss, a, miss some bells on the road. But, I wonder how that's going to work. I know, I know my peoples are still working on the Kirby survey. Anyway, it works like this. You pick, you have a selection of Kirby abilities, got to jump for that one, and you can vote on them once a day until December 2nd. You can vote, vote once every day, and you vote for one particular power, and they're going to take the one with the most votes and add it as the last player choice ability in the game. Uh... I voted for Animal and Yo-Yo. Those are really good ones. I'm gonna vote for Bubble too, which is which is nice. Well, we got 1,000 bells just on the downloading screen. See, this is one thing I can say Nintendo got right. It's like, well, even though we have to wait for the loading, loading. Yawn. At least it gives us a way to earn some bread. <laughs> By now, I would have gone. If I was the actual, uh. <laughs> if I was my actual little guy right there, villager in the camp, I probably would have gone through all three of my cans of preservatives just driving the loading screen just to move around. <laughs> Ah, uh, so yes, go ahead and vote for your favorite Kirby ability. I will link in the description below of this where you can vote for your favorite Kirby ability. Remember, you have until December 2nd, and you can vote once a day. Let your specific power of choice be added to the roster for Kirby Battle Royale for the Nintendo 3DS. Oh, that's going to be so interesting. Thank goodness there's only 19 more percent left in this download. Then I can move on with the rest of this show. It's pretty good, though. Really? Okay, at least I can say I took home a minimum... 1500 bucks just waiting for the downloading screen that's cool got some extra bread to spend at the marketplace <laughs> hopefully I can get through all this tutorial stuff and then I uh, get down to the real nice nitty-gritty 
more bell bitties for me. You know, I'll say this. It was nice to get Jay out there because he's my bro and all that, but uh, I'm going to have to suit my place up to be like the bachelor pad. Just invite the lovely ladies out for, for a visit to my camp. That'd be cool. And then, of course, my bro Jay, he can show up every now and again, too. Maybe Filbert, too. Filbert seems pretty cool. The bros and the ladies. Hopefully, I can get that uh, half pipe that they showed in one of the little loading previews. So we can do the, the, the Animal Crossing uh, version of Skate or Die. Man, that is an old school game. If they ever make that game again, man, I, they're going to probably have to get like professional skateboarders. I'm not talking, I mean, they probably won't get like Bam Measurum and Tony Hawk for that, but we'll see. And that's all for our mini game. Until the next episode.